welcome to cloud ocean in this video uh, we are going to see about how to set up graphical user interface for aws instance so mostly in aws console uh, uh, when you uh, launch a new instance uh, uh, the instance is available in cli mode uh, some customers uh, they want to use gui mode so for that we need to configure gui mode in the Linux instance okay so in this video we are going to see about that how to configure GMO for AWS instance uh, so right now uh, this is my AWS console so I'm going to launch a new instance so I'm going to select uh, CentOS 7 Im image so it is available under the marketplace okay Okay, I'm going to select uh, CentOS 7 image. So once you select the image, uh, the pricing details will be displayed here. So these are the instance type and uh, the pricing details are here. So as per your business requirement, you can select the instance type. Okay. So right now I'm going to choose T3A X Lodge uh, for a better performance. Okay. And the number of instance, only one instance. And VPC everything I keep it uh, as a default. Okay. So enable termination protection. So in the um, storage purpose, I'm going to continue with general purpose SSD. So in the security group, as of now, uh, SSH port is allowed. So after configuring the GA mode, we need to take to RDP, so I'm going to allow RDP also. Also, I'm going to allow the HTTP port and the HTTPS port. So, as per your requirement, so you can add the allow the ports. Okay, so I have to mention the source. So I'm going to create a new keeper, which is sent OS GUI. Launch instance. This is my instance, and uh, here all the details are available here. So you can see like um, the pub public IP and uh, the instance type, instance state, instance ID, and uh, the availability zone, private IP, and the security group, inbound, outbound. Uh, Ports, everything is available here so you can uh, see from here itself okay. right now the system is starting so you can uh, see the status of the system from here uh, uh, 
instance setting under that get instance screenshot so from here you can come to know the status of this uh, instance so you can refresh this page still the system is loading so before the system is getting ready so we have to convert the uh, if you want uh, to do sss logging so you need to convert to uh, <clears throat> pp uh, pump file to ppk file okay so but as of now i don't need i will oh, okay well, first of all we will convert the file okay so this is my pump file So I'm going to give the name as ppk. So now my ppk file is ready. And my instance also ready to log in. Okay. So this is a CentOS image. So I'm logging through the username uh, CentOS. So my login is done. Okay. So this is the CLI mode. So now I want to use this server in GUI mode. So for that we need to install some uh, <clears throat> G, uh, graphical administration tools. So these are all the commands. So uh, I will mention all the commands in the description. So you can now uh, uh, refer those commands. Okay. And uh, so let me up, uh, update one by one. Yes. So this will take some time. Mm.
okay so now the update has been done and the next next step is So next, I'm going to install Jira server with Jira. Yes. So do rebox. Now you can see the status of the server. From here. So, hmm. So initially when we see the screenshot, it was showing in the CLI mode. So now, so see it is available in GUI mode. Okay, so, so let me complete the, the remaining steps also. We need to re-log in again.
okay so now so before that set the inbound outbound rules also Three eight nine four four three twenty two and eighty. Okay, so three three eight nine is the RTP port, and uh, so from the AWS console end, we have allowed that port, and we need to allow in the server end also. So for that, I'm going to allow this port into the Linux firewall end. Okay, so now the server is ready for the GMO. So copy this server IP and uh, just go to run, type msgc, just paste the IP address, connect. So here you can enter your username and password you need to set your password so okay so i have set my center is username password my uh, GUI mode Linux system is ready. Okay. So I will give all these commands in the description below. Okay, you can refer those comments. If you like this video, please uh, like and share and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.